if anything, is a land of stories, myths, legends, and they're particularly fond of their ghost stories. And today I'm going to tell you one, and I'm starting this story out with a very Bangkok, Thailand kind of thing to do, and that's take a motorcycle taxi to Wat Mahabit. Here on the Prakanon Canal near the temple Wat Mahabit, Maynak and Kun Mak lived a blissful existence together. They were two beautiful young people, very much devoted to one another, and May was pregnant. Unfortunately, Mak was conscripted to go fight against the invading Burmese and was injured in battle, nearly killed. What kept him alive were thoughts of his wife and family back in Prakanon. Finally, Mark came home and began living a blissful existence with his beautiful and devoted wife and his young infant son. It was wonderful to be home. Life was good for Mark and his wife, Maynock, but the villagers around the Wat were very disturbed and, and, and concerned for Mark. You see, because May Nock had died in childbirth, but she so loved her husband Mark that her spirit refused to leave. And the villagers kept warning Mark that he was living with a ghost. He was furious. How could they tell such lies and such silly stories? Then one day he was working underneath the house, in a Thai-style house built on stilts, and he was underneath doing a chore, and May was cooking dinner up above. And she dropped a lime in between the floorboards of the house, and it fell the 15 feet down to the dirt floor underneath. May, being an ethereal being, simply stretched her arm through the boards and reached down the 15 feet to retrieve the lime. Mock, recognizing that he was indeed living with a ghost, ran off to get help, here at Wat Mahabit. I just provided you with a very short version of the story of uh, Maynak and Kun Mak. But here today at Wat Mahabit, it is said that the ghost of Maynak still roams the grounds. She's still here. It's the most popular of many ghost stories in Thailand, and it's the one that I first learned. And like many Westerners, I, I thought it was rather amusing that much meaning just a ghost story but it's much deeper than that and living here in thailand now for seven years i've learned the value of of, uh, of these stories these myths and legends and uh, and how they affect the culture how they're they inform the culture you see because whether or not an individual actually believes in the story isn't important because even a non-believer can participate in in, in the the energy that the story brings you see, because it's a story of transcendent love. So the story of May Nock and Kun Mok may feel like a superstition for those in the West, but it has meaning and value here in Thailand. It informs the culture in a rather pleasant way. Mock would have been rowing the boat, but I'm tracing his steps here along the Prakanon Canal near Wat Mahabha. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.